Oh, oh, that's good. Um, uh, in fact, you should contact uh, Neha Torari. I'll give you. Yeah, her she's a really good friend of mine. She, so. she, Neha's the best. And, and yeah, in fact, she she promoted me on like Twitter and on the front page of Justin TV the other day because it was my first time oh, using that's awesome. you broadcasting. Right, the only problem now, is that way. my audio wasn't working, so I ended up you know like using this notebook to like oh, write to, things to communicate to, people, to everyone, like you know, like that. That's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we are live now over at uh, at uh, uh, bbliveshow.com, uh, Justin TV. In fact, actually, uh, Neha was asking us to do uh, more stuff on Justin, and uh, uh, I got to tell you, we've had a great relationship with uh, with um, Ustream, but their you stream, but their pre roll is just agonizing, and it's like and it, like during roll. Yeah, during they're, during role, role. they're interrupting the live show in order to show an advertisement. It's very frustrating, and I, I really hope that we're able to continue to, to prefer Ustream, but uh, as for right now, we're using Justin TV because it plays and it's reliable and it does everything. Uh, by the way, cunt, cuss, we, we, cunt, we'll, cunt, we'll cunt, wait cuss. until they run out of seed money and have to start doing ads. That's right. That's right. Um, bleed them dry. Hello. Milk the cow. All right, guys. First of all, let me do this. I'm going to open up uh, an egg timer. Let me do this. Eggtimer.com. I'm assuming there's something at eggtimer.com. Probably shouldn't have done that. Timer. <laughs> egg timer. Simple, all right. Simple online countdown timer. I'm going to go ahead and start a timer for 15 minutes. And I hit go. This is the time. All right, people? I cannot do a long after show tonight we're gonna cut back to this as often. lightning round what's that lightning round that's right that's exactly right oh my god seriously uh casey would you would you mind if we kept you on our list of like people to call in a pinch where it's like we just need a guest and we because you get the energy of the show and you're not afraid to to cuss which is awesome hells yeah bitch <laughs> there we go i'll tell you what in i'm fact, gonna go I've ahead and follow that a under resounding yes people wanting me to come back on so Awesome. Well, that's you good. Go. All right, let me see. Yes. Source three as camera. So everybody, seven. look. Casey likes us. She likes us. She really likes us. Dude, Casey. Casey's awesome. Okay. I tolerate you. I. <laughs> yeah, I know. She if, if we were us. to pass Casey a note that says, "Do you tolerate us or run uh, in disgust?" She would check tolerate. If you tolerate this, then your children will be next. That's right. Okay. Right. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, what, you don't so, know that song. Hey, Bri, Bri. What? Uh, listen, you got this thing, uh, theoretically, at, at uh, Universal Studios. I've heard rumors. I'm going to tell, uh, as, as a magic reporter. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, no, I, uh, as, as the reporter for the number one magic website, itrix.com. Yeah, magic industry news site. Listen, Brian, I'm going to get my mic and on this, right? to the camera. So here's the deal, <laughs> Brian. You want <laughs> Look, I, I, I'm going to deny uh, reports that I've been jerking you off in my wizard outfit. Uh, <laughs> And ask you very uh, pressing questions. I believe that right now we can say with a shadow of a doubt that you're going to be performing at Halloween Horror Nights. Confirm or deny? Uh, you know what? All I can do as somebody who's a broadcaster who's reporting on stuff that just appeared online, I can state that um, it appears as though HalloweenHorrorNights.com, Universal Orlando's premier website to talk about their Halloween event, appears to have Brian Brushwood listed as doing not one, but two shows menace and malice which I think is a really interesting idea because hypothetically this would be a way for somebody who has let's say a lot of content who could theoretically do like a 90 minute stage show non-stop it would or be let's a way say theoretically does one like all the goddamn time maybe maybe has award winning material and new material all the time maybe it's a way to showcase some of the favorites that some people did you know, some people dig and they, they say, I really hope I get to see blank because I've never gotten to see it before. And then also have a way to show entirely new stuff, like a complete now, show from beginning to end where not one thing is familiar material. Now, here's the thing. Let's say somebody in the chat room just said, listen, Bri, what's this bullshit? You're going to cut your show in half and expect us to think that they're two different shows. But you would say, hey, listen, jerk off. Jump in an acid filled lake because these are two fully formed, awesome shows that you're performing for them, right? 
Hypothetically, I mean, I'm not hypothetically. I mean, whoever, let's this, say somebody was gonna do that. Whoever this guy. By uh, the way, the moment you say that, somebody <laughs> in the chat room says exactly that. <laughs> um. Uh, oh yeah. Look, here, here, here's the thing: is I, I don't want to. Uh, here's what I'll do: is stop worrying about my acting, bitch. <laughs> uh, here's the thing: since we only have 11 minutes and 31 seconds here, uh, the the thing is, is w I want to do a real live stream. Uh, where where we take calls from the the HHN community and they have their own their own particular things that they're into. Uh, here's what I'd like to say to you guys uh, at at home. You guys know me. You dig the show. Chat You've yeah chat realm. This is to the chat realm specifically. You guys know me. You know the show. Uh, I trust you to be cordial and to be friendly and to be an ambassador of NSFW show and of me as a as an entertainer. One thing we've tried to do from the very beginning of the show is to cultivate classiness when necessary among our, our, our fans. And this is a case where HHN is a very passionate audience and I know some of you guys are going to want to go chat in the chat rooms and talk up the show. And they should. And a lot of them are going to be excited and want to see the show. Yeah, and, we'll and see people the show. are going to want to come down and see it. Uh, uh, first of all, I will say this. I will say. Uh, uh, I, I will say this. Uh, uh, be absolutely impeccably classy. Impeccably well, classy yeah. at all times. That's the I mean, most important thing to me. Here's the thing. We've done a lot of stuff on this show where we've gone into, you know, other people's chat threads or dig and stuff like that, and everybody. You guys know that when we're in mixed company, it's most effective and serves our purposes best if we're not in there being crazy and wild. This is exactly like that, except now Times there's like million. actual stakes. Right. Yeah. Like now, now, now my there's... income is on the line. Right? Yeah. So, so we, we, are, we are trusting those who love the show and wanted an opportunity to see Brian perform on a really, really awesome, in a really awesome venue. And also... Have a real fun time. We're going to have a really super sweet NSFW meetup. The film, when Film Riot was here, we were talking about all going up together. Uh, it's going to be an awesome, awesome time. A one of a once in a lifetime kind of fun experience. But a lot of that depends on how much we can all uh, just make sure that in areas where Universal pays the most attention, we can uh, you know, make sure that people know that they know that there are people very, very excited to see Brian out there. And if there are misconceptions about maybe, you know, that Brian's retreading material or anything, that you make sure that they know that this is specifically designed so everybody gets to see the maximum amount of new material at right. Halloween Horror Nights right, right. this year. Yeah, and and and, and first of all, and, and uh, uh, I don't know how much of this is supposed to be on the record just yet, but but I can say, uh, number one, in your interactions with them, uh, I, I, I think it's fine. Be cordial at all times. Say, hello, people. I know I'm new here. I'm, my name is so-and-so. I'm a big fan of Brian's work. I like his stuff on Scam School. I like it on NSFW. Uh, let me tell you what I'm excited to possibly see, X, Y, and Z. You know, that that is totally appropriate, right? Never, never, ever, ever take the bait on flame hate. You guys know the game. Don't feed the trolls. Don't play the game. I'm trusting you with my livelihood here, okay? Yeah. Be courteous. Be be uh, appropriate, and some of you and, guys and, maybe wait till tomorrow to post, so it's not a giant flood all at once. Some of you guys on the fence. Uh, there's a ton of different discussion boards out there. They're all going to be on fire with this thing. Halloween is a very big deal in in Orlando. Uh, make sure to speak honestly, speak sincerely, and never ever ever take the bait. People are going to troll. They're going to call you names. They're going to say you're part of a you're being a tool or whatever. Never take the bait. Never respond it. Now let me ask you this, Brian. Uh, we don't want them to necessarily disguise the fact that they're fans of the show. No, no. Right? Be honest. Be honest. Yeah. Be sincere. Be direct. And be classy above all. Because here's the thing. Um, in the past, two last time I did it two years ago, I wanted to bring some backstage experience to the masses for Halloween Horror Nights. And so I said, hey, guys, you know, I've done a couple of these live streams. It seems like a big deal. We could broadcast from backstage. And they like to be very, very precise about how they release information. And so uh, they were not interested at the <laughs> time. But now, two years later, uh, we're a legit juggernaut operation here. And we have the opportunity to really blow up Halloween Horror Nights. And by the way, I, and there's, there's so much I can't talk about, but what I can talk about, I am so excited about. This is far and away the biggest my stage show will ever be. We have two totally complete shows from beginning to end. And I kid you not, from the moment you walk in the door, 
the, the, the pre-show video will be different. The video will be different. The intro video will be different. We're creating all kinds of new content. The, the, the main show itself will be different. We've got all kinds of ramped up production values that uh, again, I can't get into. We'll talk about it more later on. Very, very excited about this. Um, totally different. I, I think, I think it's safe to say that Brian's show will be double complete rainbow. Not one, but two, Almost. not one, but two. Uh, Almost here's, triple. here's, Here's the deal, folks. I know someone just said, like, oh, Jesus, titty, fucking Christ. We get it. We're not trolls. We're not children. I know that. You know that. Here's the problem. Or not the problem. Here's what we're trying to get at. We just want to make sure that we have it out there. And, and, and here's the deal. We are so trusting everybody because we love you guys. There's a reason why Chat Realm is, is what it is. And it's because we always put our faith and trust in you guys. Now, it's just we just want to have it said to our hard, hard, hard cores. We just want to let everybody know this is super important. Right. And, uh, and yeah, it's going to be awesome. Like, uh, we're going to come up, I'm going to come up there a couple weeks. Right. And we're going to have an awesome, awesome, super awesome time. Yeah. Now we're down to Would five. Would you say it's going to be an epic of epic epicness? Yes. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's mm-hmm. going to fucking, it's I'm going to say this. Fuck, you it's going to make that epic. epic. You were just talking about, it's going to butt fuck that epic. That's how <laughs> epic it's going to be. And I'm going to say this. While that's <laughs> happening, epic as a concept is going to come and shit at the same time. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> <God>. <laughs> oh, my God. That's terrible. That's messy. Don't, don't repeat that in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Don't even joke about that. Okay. Uh, look, uh, again. Well, that, that's our joke. That's yes. a joke for us. Yeah, that's our joke. You don't Keep get that. to say that joke. That's Keep our that joke. in the family, baby. <clears throat> uh, you at reply me on Twitter with that joke. You don't put that shit yeah. around. Yeah, yeah, and, and I mean that. Look, look, uh, we we like the fact that that within the show we get to be kind of crazy, but uh, but but again, like this is my livelihood. Let's make it clear that there's a lot of enthusiasm. And, and here's, and, I mean, I, I, they know, they know, right? right. We need to say it, but they know, right? Exactly. And specifically, let me just tease. I'm working very hard on le- on letting me, in an official capacity, host a bunch of uh, live streams related to Halloween Horror Nights. Because if you have not come, holy shit, it is the greatest thing on earth. You've you've been, Casey, right? No, no, I've been dying to go. Oh my god, you totally need to go. Uh, they, they do it both in in Los Angeles. I know, and, yeah, exactly. And, yeah, both in Hollywood and in Orlando. Uh, yeah. But but it is epic in every way possible and especially if, if uh, uh, oh my god okay don't even get me started but anyway well see I've got a friend who was like oh you should go and then she's she's afraid of horror so mm-hmm. she won't go with me well that's that's part of the reason I'm there is because is because there are a lot of people who don't want to do houses or they they would like to see more shows they have a couple of very popular stage shows and the idea what was inter- the whole way this idea of two shows came to me was was because i i heard that people were 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 coming back to see my show three or four times in a row you know they they would just come back and see it over and over again and i was really bummed because i've got this you know i got 90 minutes of show and they're only watching the same 20 minutes over and over again and then when i come back you know if if i do uh if i do one thing uh what, what are you laughing about just coffee boy oh yeah no okay i saw that one yeah uh, but the uh, uh, anyway, the idea was it was like I wish there was a way that I could, because I know they would crucify me if I did if I didn't do certain routines uh, that they really wanted to see and that they maybe traveled halfway across the world in order to see because they thought would be really good. Uh, and I was like, what, wouldn't it be great if we could have a show where even if you saw one show, it was still new stuff uh, along with your favorites, or, or even I've seen you at when you were part of the variety show, what, four years ago, the, the show you did two years ago, right. and they saw both those. Right. They're still going to be getting even more, absolutely even new, new stuff, stuff yes. in both shows. Yes. There are two shows in which they will see absolutely new material for them. Right, right, like, yeah. If you've seen everything that I've ever done at Universal for the history of the world, you will still see new stuff in both of the two shows. But if yes. you only saw one year, There'll be one show that'll be completely new from beginning to end. You don't yeah. say. That's what I'm saying. That's Holy what I'm saying. Shit. Uh, re- real, real quick, from what people are saying, um, uh, if if theoretically this is all true or whatever, uh, you are uh, theoretically only performing in Orlando, not LA. So it is the Orlando Halloween Horror Nights in Universal. Uh, just so that's clear. And also, uh, we will, uh, as this develops, 
make sure that we get the word out on what the official like NSFW meetup day is. Yes. Um, yes. And and plus, um, uh, again, I'm working very hard. Uh, regardless, once it's totally out there and in public, and and I'm you know I'm able to talk about it, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys as much access as I always try to do. Uh, but uh, so so obviously follow the Twitter and I there will be a live stream sometime in the next week where we're going to have uh, uh, some awesome conversations talking about the event as a whole, because I'm very, very excited about the stuff they're doing this year. Uh, I, the two years I spent doing Halloween Horror Nights have been the most fun I've ever had at a professional gig. And I want to expand it and make it as big as possible and totally exactly. go go meet up crazy with it. And fucking it's going to be on a bigger stage than it was last time. I'm saying that. All right. Casey, you want to do something we like to call rapid fire? Oh, so sad. No, 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 no. Do you, uh, you want to do something called rapid fire? Do you usually talk about Brian for 15 minutes? Yeah, well, this no, is, this only, is a No, only one. when Brian's got a big thing coming up and he's a total yeah. narcissist. He has I'm a big totally thing. totally with you, Casey. And it's coming up? <laughs> <laughs> His big thing's coming all over. Uh, all right, so, uh, and shitting at the same time. <laughs> uh, Casey, here's what we like to do. We like to let the audience uh, ask either or questions in rapid fire succession. Okay. And then just have you just say, you, you for example, just give a couple of, of example ones here. And then the moment they come up, uh, like blank or blank, you'll know, say. So blank, if, they, if they say Comic Con or Dragon Con, you just repeat what they said and then say what you would prefer. Right. So for example, it'd be Wizards or Invisible Woman, Wizards, Spit or Swallow, Spit, and then you know uh, Schwood or Jury, Schwood. That's okay. the obvious answer. Beavis or Brian? Yeah. Beavis. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're not real. That's we're not really egg. starting yet. But, but but okay, are you ready <gasps> to start? Are you ready to start? Yes. Yes. Okay. And by the way, you don't have to read every single one. There may be some that are a little bit inappropriate. Uh, and so, Invisible woman. Okay, good. Okay. No, no, remember, you have to read the question. Yeah, you oh, can't just show us the answer. answer. You can't? Okay. okay. You ready? You got to show me the chat room. Set. This go. is ridiculous. And Dragon or wizard? Fire. Dragon. Sci-fi or sci-fi? Original sci-fi. Tits or ass? Tits. Sue Storm or Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman. Oreos or Chips Ahoy? Oreos. Oh, I think I'll skip that one. Yeah, oh, exactly, I'm going to skip right? that one. Really? This is Sweet ridiculous. Twi uh, Star Wars or Star Trek? Definitely Star Trek. Wow. I was in Fast Cast Rocks this weekend. Only nerds will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Cats or dogs? Cats. Spritz or beer? I'll go with spritz, whatever the fuck Hells, that is. Yeah. <laughs> ducks or dolphins? Ducks. PC or Mac Mac? I didn't know I couldn't do that. Beer or wine? Mexican Coke. Yes! Yes. LA or SF? LA. Blow uh, me. Tenant or Smith? Smith, bitches. All right, look, uh, remember that classy thing? Let's. We have a lady who came here, all right? Would you... The, enact the cast or the classy call, clause as a, I can't even talk. I'm so offended. <laughs> God damn it. All right, go ahead. Restroom or bathroom? Hmm. What do I, I say something totally different. What do I say? It's called wash rapid room. fire. I say not wash contemplative room. Contemplative fire. <laughs> no. And everyone looks at me like, what the fuck are you talking about? What's a washroom? Scott Pilgrim versus the world or Scott Pilgrim versus the world? Seriously? Are you talking about like volume that six versus that was racist. Racist. volume six? Blacks or whites, dude. Oh my God! Wow. Dude, Obama. <laughs> By the way, the okay. uh, the early polling results are in. The chat room is saying, uh, "Wow, great show, Casey was awesome. Perfect personality for the show. Get her on again." I didn't know I couldn't do that. Um, and uh, they're saying we have proof that Casey McKinnon is smarter than NSFW chat room, but she <laughs> is not. <laughs> Um, what else? What else? Roadie Quest for Android, a bunch of talk about HHN. All right, and then the rest of the here. Oh, here we go. Disney or Universal Studios? Disney or, oh, uni oh, oh. That's too difficult. It's too difficult because they both have good qualities. Let's just say in Orlando during late September like and October. Like, 
like kid things. So, so I'm gonna say universal. That's right. That's yes. right. You got that right. You <laughs> passed. <laughs> Good job. Pie or pie. Three point one four one five nine, etc. etc. Cosine C. Chicken or beef chicken. Sign. Dead people or living people? Really? That's just cheesy. Double complete rainbow. <laughs> you know what? If it was a few years ago, I'd say dead people. Hells yeah. <laughs> that is so over. <gasps> Ding or dong. Oh, PS3 or 360? Oh, that's actually tough. Be but I do not own a PS3. I own a 360. So I guess it's... Hey, where are the white women at? Mexican Coke or kosher or <laughs> Passover Coke? They are the same thing, but I've always wanted to try the Passover Coke just because I love Jews. Uh, Invincible or Walking Dead? You know what? I haven't read Invincible. I've read Walking Dead, so I'm going to go with Walking Dead. And I'm not really keen on superheroes, so there you go. You don't like superheroes? No, Ontario, no, I prefer Canada indie comics. Or, Canada, or, or California or Jews Canada. or sea Jews? <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. This is a very important question to answer. I would like to know what a sea Jew is. Wouldn't you? Is it like a seaman? <laughs> yes, no. it's a lot like. Kind it's of. a lot like a seaman. It's a little bit. Not going to lie. <laughs> I think they were just trying to get me to say the word seaman. Probably. Yeah. What's up with your audio, dude? <laughs> I'm trying to help you out here. No, it's fine. Whatever. Uh, 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 Justin Robert Young is the sea Jew. There's only one. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. I, heard, I read that in, on my BBP entry. What are you guys even asking? That sea Jew equals happened. jury? Okay. Yeah, no, she doesn't know what the fuck this means, guys. Thanks, guys. Yeah, come on, I'll dude. Google it later. Stop? Greenland Stop or Iceland? Or Ramona Flowers. I want to go to Iceland. Flowers. Did you see that movie yet, Bri? No, I really want to. Did you what? see dude, really, you're the reason really, really it, good. it made shitty numbers? I know, dude. Your... I'm part of the reason, dude. I'm I am the, specifically the reason that it made shitty but numbers. But you wanna know what? Like that's the thing about being a geek, right? Like part of the geek experience is being disappointed with the rest of the world. Yeah. But it was like, awesome. Oh, I know, but that's that's the point. That's what makes us us. What makes us us is that we go out on limbs and then there are lines in the sand that are drawn between us and humanity. And the irony is that we are perpetually disappointed that we get to be a special class of being who enjoys Justin, cool things it? before everybody else. And yet we're disappointed that other people are making us special. Have you seen it, like, Justin? I have. I loved it. Did, did you cry? I didn't cry. I cried at Toy Story 3. I didn't cry at Scott Pilgrim. I did. But I cried more what? during the book. What part did you cry in Scott Pilgrim? Uh, actually, uh, the very beginning, I, really? I got really, really emotional because I was just like, oh my God, it's, 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 look, it's there, it's in a movie. And then I oh, you right were just at the like, end, like, as, the, uh, as the credits rolled, I was just like, oh. It's like so, on, yeah. on a meta level of like, look at this adaptation. You were, oh yeah, it was, it was really, it was so brilliant that that's why I, I cried. I'll, I'll say this for anybody who knows I about what, cried because it was so so good. It was awesome for anybody yeah. who knows what these means. It's probably the closest thing you're, you're ever going to get to a spaced movie, uh, which is the other thing that Simon Pan, Edgar Wright, and and Nick Frost did. Uh, and it's Edgar Wright might be the best visual comedy director in the modern era. Like he is probably the funniest guy involved in that project. It's insane. It's so awesome. I love it. And I'll probably wind up writing about it. On my hey, uh, look, I, I got to run to the restroom. Yeah, you're too. gone, right? No, no, no. I, right. I'm going to go to the restroom. You guys finish talking. I'll be back that in five minutes. That just happened. You got, you got five minutes. You're going to take a shit, and we're going to talk shit. Actually, yeah. oh, shit. Yes. Hey, you know who's a real fat asshole? Dude. Brian Brushwood. Yeah, I know, right? What a douche nozzle. I don't know. Part oh, of me, part shit. of me is almost wondering if we don't, if we haven't discovered the third missing ingredient on this show. She's seems built for this thing. Go ahead. I'll tell you what. Discuss. She's, uh... <laughs> and yet he totally forgot my name earlier today. What a douche. I know. Hey, Bri, Bri, how about that? Hey, man. I was like that fucking lady, and uh, I was right because you're that. You are that fucking lady with the cat. I was like that fucking lady <laughs> with the cat. I am the cat lady. Exactly. I didn't want to say it, but it's like whatever. She does not like <laughs> uh, Yeah, I haven't read the, the Scott Pilgrim books, so you're saying they're, like, really, really good? Yeah, they're awesome. And and actually, uh, we interviewed Brian Lee O'Malley last year at Comic-Con about 
um, well, he's he's the the original creator. Yeah. So we we interviewed him and we asked him, you know, how much the movie is based on the book, and he yeah. says, you know, the first five volumes are pretty much in there, but the sixth volume he only gave them rough notes. Yeah. So you can you can see elements of the graphic novel in the movie, but it's a totally different sort of way of putting it together. Totally, totally different. So I would highly suggest reading it because. It's yeah, really well, it, it seems like anything that's condensed from that amount of material, like you don't really have to worry about watching the movie and having it spoil the experience of the books because like there's just so much shit that you're always going to get more of a contextual kind of thing. I did hear that that they did reshoots. Oh, no, so, but it's, like, it's completely jokes. different. It's completely, completely different. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's, like I said, completely different. There we go. Now I, I read a thing yeah, that like said that really uh, that like like the, the Ramona character is like way 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 cut down that she's like so much more a part of the books that if like people were disappointed that her character wasn't more fleshed out. Were there, you? there was there was like I don't know I felt like there was a lot missing in the movie but and they also made it instead of over like a year they made it over like a week so yes. there's obvious a lot there's obviously a lot that was kind of you know cut out in order to make it much shorter. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what, a lot of people didn't see it because they just hate Michael Sarah. apparently yeah, that, now. Yeah, that's, that's ridiculous because he was awesome in it. Well, I, I also think he was, he was like, for me, and it's kind of hard to say, like, oh, you mean he's not, like, the twee guy in a band that's really shy about talking to girls? And he is that in the book, but, like, or in the movie, rather. But I think he's different. Like, it, it felt like a different kind of character for him. It wasn't, like, Oh, the yeah, same. yeah, I think so, too. It wasn't a super bad Michael Sarah. There's, like, a... Like, he's kind of an asshole, which is something that I don't think you get in the trailers if you haven't read the books. And the Scott Pilgrim character is, like, sort of a real dick. Like, he's, he's, clueless, he's got a, he an is. arrogance to him. I'd say he's completely clueless. He's, he's a really normal dude. He's, I think you can really... You know, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll actually... I, I didn't take you away from that. I, I think, like, he's a guy who's more of a ass that he realizes but like he's not oh yeah yeah but the whole yeah, the like, whole idea is that he doesn't get it and then he yeah. finally gets it and that's that's the story but he's also like he's kind of he's far more charismatic than he realizes like he, he, he just thinks it's normal that you can just like kind of hook up with these girls and you know then just leave them but you has he has no self-worth himself so it's like Whatever. Who would want him? But well, then he's he also realize, he's not. It's not like he's a Mac Daddy either, though. So it's no, not like he's just. But it's certainly the book. I mean, the movie at least illustrates that he's left a little bit of a trail of dead behind him. Like you know, that there, little, there's yeah, this, yeah. There was a but string he's, he's of girls that really had a thing for him, and he's like kind of just popped out of their lives with little he's, more than he's a normal gaming early twenties dude with no job. Vegas. I guess that's the thing, is I don't picture early 20s gaming guys oh, see, getting this, as, this, much this, okay, as many okay. girls as Scott he does. from the movie to me was my early 20s, where I was jamming in my friend's basements and I was playing Atari and Nintendo games and, you know, that sure. that, that was exactly my early 20s. So wait, were you Scott or, or Ramona or, or any of the other characters? Kim Pine. You were Kim Pine. That was the drummer. Right, the yes. ex-girlfriend. Although I I played guitar though. Okay, you weren't you weren't. Although I, I do I did have a drum kit and I did play it sometimes, and now I'm 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 always playing drums in rock band, but I guess I couldn't really say I'm a drummer. So. Well, now you're like the rock band, Kim Pine. I think that's something. There you go. You know, totally. I would add that to my Twitter profile. <laughs> oh, my new Twitter bio. The Just saying. Kim Pine and Just saying. Uh, all right, what do you think? Uh, are you more excited for an Avengers movie or a Justice League movie? Oh, I, I honestly don't care about either. Oh yeah, you hate superheroes. Why do you hate superheroes? I'm not really into That's superheroes. Like an American. No. I I would much rather see a DMZ movie. Okay, well, good for you. See, look at that blank expression on your face. <laughs> I yeah, no, I have not. Uh, I have not partaken in DMZ. But You're, what's wrong with you? I know. I guess I'm just you know. I, now I'm the big fat asshole. We thought Brian was, but now uh, the, the mandal has been passed <laughs> to old Jerry. Uh, wait, what is the um, Actually, no. You know what? I'm really looking forward to Why the Last Man. See now, Why the Last Man? I read. 
So you know that yeah, we see, can talk awesome. about. I oh, think that that's the first something. The Walking Dead on AMC. See, I would, I would rather have Why the Last Man and Preacher are two things that always get talked about as movies that I think would be way better as series. I, I, I think it would be way, 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 way better if it was like an HBO or a Stars. I think Stars oh, is doing you know, great stuff. You know what's going to be awesome? Have yeah. you read Triple X Zombies? I've not read Rick Remender and Tony Moore. I've not. No, is that good? Oh, dude. Okay, it's it's like a um, it's a zombie story that takes place in the seventies with um, seventies porn stars. Okay. So, like, they're they're shut they're shut in in this um, like a porn set all weekend because they really got to get this this porn movie out. And yeah. uh, while they're shut in, the, yeah, the whole are. world turns to shit. Everyone turns to zombies, and then finally they go outside and realize that this has happened. And and it's you know, that's that's the basis of the story. So it's awesome, and it's X X X zombies. I just call it triple X go. zombies. So yeah. wait, so so basically, it's like kind of so, like and, their and hold Tony up. Moore in is, this, is the you know, original artist for The Walking Dead. Uh, and they're, so they're they're like holed up in this you know Van Nuys warehouse, and then all of a sudden they come out and it's zombie apocalypse. Well, kind of. They're 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 in a uh, a really awesome house in the hills. Oh, okay. So there we go. On a porn. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nice. That's good. Yeah. And is that still running, or is that in like trade? No. Um. Although I think they wanted to do another. Like they did, I think three or four issues, and it's it's. It's in a graphic novel right now, and I think they said they might do another one, but I'm not really sure. But it was optioned for a movie, and I really hope it gets made because it's awesome. Well, you know, if zombies get bigger, you know, you got to figure they're going to option fucking everything. Well, for I, I don't know. I think zombies are waning at this point. You think so? Well, Walking Dead's in it. I think The Walking Dead's going to be awesome, but no one can do seriously. I don't know. No one can do what? I think like I think zombies are kind of overkill at this point. You think what zombie overkill, sir? I think zombies are overkill. I think that, well, at least on the internet, maybe not to the the normal folk, <laughs> the other people. Yeah, I mean, I think it, it all depends on how good the series is, right? Um, I don't know. I, honestly, like I think vampires are totally over, and I think zombies are also pretty over too. I don't know though. I mean, fucking people just can't get enough of goddamn vampires. Like, True Blood like I think draws the more only than like broadcast movie that should television. Be made now is the one that I'm writing. <laughs> Wait, what was that? I think the only zombie movie that should be made now is the one that I'm writing. So, all right, so you should be rooting. You should be all yay zombie. You should, every zombie project that comes out, you should no, be, be like, like go I'll see be it like, This is the only zombie movie you should ever see again. Totally. Well, but it has to get made <laughs> first. Yeah, 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 I know. You know, but like, but what 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 I mean is like uh, because I you know I make web series, uh, yeah, web TV shows, whatever. Well, there's a lot of people making zombies. There's so many zombie shows happening right now, and yeah. it's kind of it's kind of hard to navigate through it because there's just so much stuff.